Hello and welcome to this TGSA tutorial. In this video I will show you the palpation of the quadratus lumborum muscle short QL. On our dry needling and trigger point therapy courses we see that clinicians often have difficulties with palpating the QL correctly. So let's have a look at the anatomy first. The QL muscle is a flat muscle and connects the iliac crest, the transverse processes and the 12th rib with each other. In the cross section we can see that it is located directly ventral to the erector spinae muscle and dorsal to the retroperitoneal space. We have to be aware of the fact that the QL is covered by other muscles. That means that we don't have direct access to the muscle by palpation. So we have to palpate the muscle through other muscles. On the lateral side the quadratus lumborum is covered by the abdominal obliques and the transversus abdominis muscle. On the dorsal side, the QL is covered by the superficial layer of the thoracolumbar fascia, the latissimus dorsi muscle and the iliocostalis muscle. The lateral part of the QL can be palpated through the abdominal obliques and the transversus abdominis muscle. The origin of the QL at the iliac crest can be different. In some patients, as we will see it in the model in this video, it is slightly more lateral and in some patients it is more medial. That means that the distances between the lateral board of the iliac costalis and the lateral board of the QL vary. Now I will show you the anatomy, the landmarks and the palpation on our model. For the palpation of the quadratus lumborum muscle, I recommend to have the patient in sideline. The advantage of sideline is that the muscles are relaxed and that you can adjust the distance between the iliac crest and the 12th rib by supporting the waist with a pillow. The landmarks to identify the quadratus lumborum muscle are the iliac crest, and the twelfth rib. This is the lateral board of the quadratus lumborum muscle. You can palpate it and find it if you start your palpation here in the erector spinae muscle. Try to palpate gently towards the erector spinae muscle and you will feel that the erector spinae muscle has a certain elasticity. So the palpation quality is harder than if you palpate in the abdominal wall, through the abdominal wall. So the transition between the palpation which is more elastic to the palpation which is softer, this transition is the lateral border of the quadratus lumborum muscle. Remember that there is no direct access to the QL by palpation. The QL is covered by the superficial layer of the thoracolumbar fascia, the latissimus dorsi muscle, the iliocostalis muscle and the abdominal obliques and the transversus abdominis muscle. So the best way to palpate the QL is just anterior to the lateral border of the iliocostalis muscle. And if you palpate the QL from lateral in a frontal plane and press hard, then you may feel bony structures through the QL. These are the transverse processes, also known as the coastal processes. Although there is no gap or window where you can palpate the quadratus lumborum directly, you can get a good impression about the size, the tone and the sensitivity of the muscle by palpating it through the thoracolumbar fascia and the abdominals. So that's it. I hope you liked this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon.